If there is one thing I can say, greats, is that this year just kept hitting me with surprises after surprises. And this is one of them. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Joshua Drake, Future Filmmaker 3940 Reviews here. I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on Spies in Disguise. This is the fourth and final 2019 review that I have to review. And this is going to be my final 2019 movie review before I do my 2019 movies ranking live video in a few days. So... Spies in the Skies tells the story of Lance Sterling, who is a super spy, and scientist Walter Beckett, and they're almost exact opposites from each other. Lance is smooth, suave, and debonair, but Walter is not. But what Walter lacks in social skills, he makes up for it in smarts and invention, in creating the awesome gadgets Lance has used on his epic spy missions. But when events take an unexpected turn, in the case of, of this, the villain, played by Ben, ben Mendelsohn, Walter and Lance suddenly have to rely on each other in a whole new way. And if this odd couple can't learn to work as a team, then the whole world is in peril, as he is transformed into a bird. Before I get started on Spies in the Skies, let, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Be sure to follow all my social media links in the description box down below. And you guys, as always, keep it cool as well as hitting that subscribe button for when future videos are up and when you will get stuff about my that, about updates or future videos in my community tab. So with that being said, let's talk about Spies in the Skies. Going into this movie, I was interested. It looked good, but I was hesitant because the blue sky animation has been slacking in this entire decade. With the exception of Rio's 1 and 2, and with the exception of... Uh, yeah, just those two, I did not see any more of the Ice Age movies. And... This actually has a cool concept. Based on a short, animated short from 2009 called Pigeon Impossible. And you have a great cast. Will Smith, Rashida Jones, Tom Holland, Ben Mendelsohn, Karen Gillan. This cast, it sounds pretty good, but I was a little hesitant. So I watched the movie and... Spawn in the sky? Another great surprise. Woo! That rhymes. Pretty awesome. But let me just tell you that this movie is definitely one of the biggest surprises of this year for me. I thought that Spies in the Skies was a fun time. It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect, but Getting off to it is the voice acting. The voice acting in this movie is great. All the voice acting from Will Smith, Tom Holland, Rashida Jones, Karen Gillan, Ben Mendelsohn, DJ Khaled, surprisingly, Reba McIntyre, and Rachel Brosnahan. This cast is dedicated, and this cast is amazing in this film. Each voice cast member does a great job with the material that is given to them. But I really liked the chemistry between Lance and Walter. That chemistry was pretty funny. At first, they're exact polar opposites, but when he, something happens to him, he, it just, if it just gets, they have to learn to work together as a team in order to save the day. And I thought the performances are very well done. Writing wise, direction wise, and story wise, every, that is all really good. This is the directorial debut of Tony Quayne and Nick Bruno, and it is a great directorial debut. And I really enjoy the direction and the writing here. You can tell that this movie was fast paced, it moves at a fast pace for an hour and 42 minutes. 
I really do dig the soundtrack in this movie. And the musical score by Theodore Shapiro was also really great. I love that part of the movie as well. I thought that they really put some heart into it. And it does have a sense of wonder into it and a sense of fun to it. And there's a lot of good fun action moments that is really awesome. And I really do enjoy seeing that. And I thought that was a lot of cool to see. And I thought it was really fun to that. And it was just a lot of awesome stuff that went on in this movie. I was sitting there like, this is awesome. This is great. I'm digging this. Everything in this movie works for me, personally. It was just a lot of fun and amazing stuff that really knew what it was doing and I couldn't believe that this movie was funny and heartfelt as it was as well as emotional as it was. Now this is not going to be a long review but I will have to say my two problems with this movie is some of the humor. Some of the comedy is really funny in a lot of areas but there are times where most of the comedy is just not really the strongest and also I feel like a few of the cast members were kind of it, it. not Karen Gillan, not Tom Holland and not Will Smith or Rashida Jones and Reba McIntyre but Ben Mendelsohn as the villain I don't really care too much about him but I do enjoy his performance in this movie but other than that those are the only two gripes i have with this film now overall spies in the skies is a fun movie you can watch with your with your family and friends even with your kids this is a fun film that is definitely worth checking out i do enjoy watching this movie and this is definitely one of my favorites. I'm glad I watched it. And I'm going to give Spies in the Skies an epitastic. Let me know what you guys think of Spies in the Skies down below in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? What is your favorite Blue Sky movie? And I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to follow all my social media links in the description box down below. You guys keep it cool. And join the epitastic as well and thanks for watching all my 2019 movie reviews thanks for supporting me in all of them and i'll see you guys in next one bye